Oh, hi there. Uh, I wanted to talk about the uh, Philando Castile and the Alton Sterling shootings. Uh, it is my personal belief that they are totally fake. I'm not going to say that white police officers in the United States don't shoot unarmed black men however often they do. I'm not going to say they don't. But I'm going to say that these two particular videos are completely fake. Like, I can give some uh, reasoning why I think that. Uh, with the Alton shooting, I saw the clip. He's in front of a car. Uh, they're, the cops, they tackled him. And they're wrestling him with him on the ground. Uh, I saw two different videos of it. Uh, conveniently... Both times the camera got turned, just one got turned during just as the uh, bullets were being fired, so you didn't see the cop pull his gun out or anything like that. You just heard the shots, and then they reverted back to it, and you see Alton on his back, and he's moving his arm too, which is a little bit suspicious, and he's got a pool of blood on his chest, and in the other video, um it's not a very great angle and you hear the gunshots except they weren't gunshots like a gun I don't know if you've ever heard one go off they're a lot louder than that and they don't sound like that that sounded like a BB gun to me uh, okay well, there's that so along with the Alton shooting um, the cop was at very most a foot away from him. If he had shot him, he would have blood on him. There'd be blood splatter on the cop. There wasn't. Uh, and also, the uh, Alton would be bleeding profusely. All there was was a puddle of blood on him. That to me says it's a blood pack. It's imitation blood that was under his shirt. And, um, they, they um, let it go off and it looked like he'd been shot totally fake uh, there's no blood on the floor there's no blood on the cop uh, he's moving his arm and things like that a shot like that that's a it's good night Irene you're you're gone uh, where the blood was situated on him uh, so it's there's a few uh, red uh, red uh, alerts uh, red alarms, red uh, bells that go off and say that that was fake. It was staged. And, and not to mention, um, cops always, always snatch the cameras from uh, nearby bystanders uh, who are filming these things. And these things don't become viral. Even if hypothetically they were able to get it on the internet and onto a source where there are going to be people watching it and it can immediately, you know, spread. Um, the internet is the government's, it's the government's uh, utensil, uh, tool. You can't manipulate it. Uh, they are in control, you are not. If they do not want something to be viral and they would not want something like that to be viral, it isn't going to be. And the only reason this is, is because it's almost like a reenactment of something that uh, does happen in the United States. I don't know how often. I don't know if you can believe the statistics that you read online. I don't live in the United States, so I wouldn't know. Um, so there's that. Coincidentally, there was another shooting of a black man uh, by Philando Castillo. And uh, his girlfriend put it at live streaming... Of course, conveniently, she didn't. There isn't any footage of him being shot. There's just uh, footage of him in a white T-shirt with uh, a big red stain on it. That could be anything. And not to mention, if he were shot, you don't just stop bleeding. Uh, you need to be suits like bandaged up and all that uh, for the blood to stop. But there's a lot of blood in your body. It 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 just doesn't work that way. And she totally looks like she's acting. She's not very good at it. 
she's uh, stepped in front of a bunch of people and done interviews and things like that, and it's basically, you know, demonizing white police officers, uh, racism, and, you know, pointing out this has happened and blah, blah, blah. She's really irritating to listen to. I can't watch her on the news. Uh, she doesn't sound like a distraught uh, girlfriend or wife or whatever he, she was at all. She just sounds like she uh, she wants to demonize whites and to advance an anti-white agenda. Now they're saying with uh, the Philando case that part of it might have been because he was in a middle class white neighborhood. So immediately that's called blaming uh, the white community in there as well. So, uh, uh, to be honest, it totally sounds like a smear job to make uh, whites look bad. Uh, as I said, he neither one of them were bleeding, uh, bleeding profusely. A uh, little pool of blood on Alton, and uh, just a stained red shirt for uh, Philando. And of course, all the propaganda, it's, it's coming right away. Of how great a guy Philando was. He worked with the community. There are memes about him that people have already constructed. And this is all to further the Black Lives Matter campaign. And uh, to be honest with you, there are a lot of there are a lot of black people out there. Some uh, I'm not gonna say all of them or most of them, but there are definitely some black people out there that don't give a damn about those black guys. But they do give a damn about advancing an anti-white agenda. And uh, if it's a choice between uh, advancing the Black Lives Matter, which is really a racist organization, or uh, saving the lives of those two black men, they're going to go with advancing the uh, anti-white agenda. That's just the truth of the matter. Uh, those two men were, they were actors. I, I'm convinced they're not even dead. Uh, and there's there's other stupid things about this too like the woman uh, Philando Castile's uh, wife, girlfriend, whatever she was in the back of a police car and she still had her phone with the internet and her camera on it I don't know if you knew this or not but cops take everything you have on you out even harmless stuff like a wallet with no money in it they will take from you to put it in I don't know what they do with it. I don't know why they do that. They just do, okay? So, her having, having a cell phone in the back of a police car? Oh, yeah. I, uh, I'm i going to call bullshit on that. And then some people uh, I've talked to have said, Oh, the police are pretty dumb. Maybe he just forgot to do a thorough search. Um, no. Uh, they have to abide by their regulations and stuff. Stuff that I don't know anything about because I have no training up. But uh, the thing is, um, it would be like going outside and going to your grocery store and then having forgotten to wear a pair of pants. That's just not going to happen. They're not going to forget about a cell phone, especially when they know uh, if it's being filmed and uh, live streamed or put on the internet or whatever. And uh, some people will go so far as to say these are false flag events. I hate that term, but it's accurate. Uh, it's to give uh, stupid people something to focus on, but it not actually be what it appears. Like, there probably is video of, uh, you know, uh, white cops killing black guys. And it's, I'm talking about like, blood splatter on the face and all this other stuff and like vicious beatings and things like that it hypothetically probably happened has happened does happen in the United States but I'm saying these videos that are getting all the attention are more of a reenactment of things that we haven't seen if, if they do uh, it happen uh, I don't know um I think this is being brought to light uh, because of those certain things. And I think that people should know that these videos are fake. I mean, I don't claim to be some sort of expert. I mean, I've, I've watched my fair amount of CSI, so there are little things I pick up that uh, I guess your average idiot isn't going to see, isn't going to figure out. 
and uh, yeah, uh, I just I can't believe how dumb uh, the media and uh, well, the government controls the media. Uh, how dumb they think we are, and uh, they're fair to say that because uh, a lot of people are completely falling into this concept that uh, these people were killed and they were killed for no reason or blah 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 and they believe they're being told the truth but uh, I see the deception uh, I am able to note that uh, these facts don't add up uh, like I said before the uh, the media and what goes viral and uh, how it's distributed are strictly controlled by the powers that be whomever wh whatever they're called I, I, I wouldn't know CSIS maybe I, uh, who knows uh, anyway um, so these videos are still available online and they probably will be for some time but the thing is they wouldn't be available at all if it was the real deal we don't get to see the real deal on TV anymore. Um, at least l long before my time, anyway. I mean, my dad told me that one story of the... Which I've seen clips of the before and after. But there was one video clip of the Vietnam War where uh, a South Vietnamese uh, officer uh, shoots the head of a Viet Cong guy. And my dad described it as blood blowing out the side of his head and uh, that... And you know what? I wanted to see that, but it isn't available online. It's nowhere to be found. You see pictures of him, you know, going, I'm going to get shot, and uh, the officer having the, um, the gun to his head, but you don't actually see the scene. It, they cut that out. So that's real. Um... But, um, yeah, I have no respect for that woman, uh, for Lando's uh, girlfriend. She's, she's using it to have her 15 minutes of fame on the television. And the story just doesn't add up. Paid off. whiny and enforcing a racial stereotype against uh, whites so me being white I have a problem with this um, I don't like it when people lie I don't like it when they have an agenda behind their lies and their rhetoric and that's what I'm seeing and the mainstream media particularly here in Canada is enforcing it and why exactly this is all happening I don't know perhaps Barack Obama has a hand to play in this uh, little little bit of chaos that's going on uh, the thing is someone pointed out if black lives mattered actually cared about black people being killed then they would focus on other problems of why black people are killed like blacks killing blacks for example you can't ignore that maybe the numbers aren't exactly accurate but that you read online but what I'm saying is that does happen a lot that black people kill black people but black lives matter doesn't seem to really care about that they they tend to ignore that fact um, it's basically their their primary focus is white policemen killing black men and yeah there's some sort of hidden agenda here I don't know exactly what it is but I suspect it has something to do with Freemasons and secret societies and um, I just wish the people weren't so easily fooled because it, it leads to to bad things 
because if the, the masses are easily fooled, then uh, it won't take much for a wave of uh, a certain thought to take over and you either go with the flow, you could be right, but they could um, cast you out if you're lucky um, in such an event if uh, total hell breaks out. So, uh, I just, it would be better if people weren't so easily fooled. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people who will question these things and, and will not be tricked as easily, but they're going to keep their mouth shut. They're not going to be like me. Uh, so anyway, I, I have other plans on making videos today. Um, so, I mean, use your judgment. Uh, use deductive reasoning to figure out what's wrong with these pictures. Why are they not accurate? Why are there certain things missing in, in them? And uh, what's the motive behind faking these sort of things? Anyway, talk to you guys later. See ya.